Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another stitch tutorial. Today we are going to be doing a super simple crossed stitch. I've seen this stitch everywhere now on Pinterest. So I've decided to give it a go and to show you as well because I think you're going to love it. And you can use any yarn you want. I have this one here in which is a scrap yarn that I have. I don't remember uh, which one it is, but if I find it, I'll leave in the description. Also, I can leave some alternatives as well in the description if you want to check it out. And for this stitch, I would recommend you trying it out with a colorful yarn if you have one. Otherwise, you can do with the one color as well. It's going to be up to you. Also, you can do a colorful every row in a different color. And this yarn, it's a number two fine sports weight. And with that, I'm using a 3.5 millimeters hook. And then to fasten off weave in, you will need a small pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. So I really hope you like today's stitch. And now let's begin. And for this stitch, you will need a multiple of four plus two. So I am going to be doing a chain of 24 for mine and then I'm going to be adding an extra two so in total I'm going to be doing a chain of 26 for my swatch. So starting with a slip knot and then we can begin with our chain. So you can go ahead and chain as many as you need for your project. So I have here my chain of 26 so now we can go into the first row. So you're going to be skipping that very first chain not the one on the hook the chain that we have completed here. So skip that first one, go into the second, and then you go into single crochet. So this single crochet is our first, first stitch. We are not counting the chain one that we left here as a stitch. And now we are going to single crochet all the way down. So we have started with 26 chains and we are going to be having 25 single crochets, 25 stitches into this very first row. So I got at the end, this is my last single crochet. And here we have the very first row completed with single crochets. So now we are going to move on into row number two. So we are going to chain three, turn project. You're going to prepare for a double crochet. You're going to be skipping that first stitch, the one that is just under the chain three here. And then we are gonna go into the second stitch and then we are going to double crochet into the next three stitches. So now we are going to be doing an extended double crochet into the very first stitch. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook you're gonna go into that first stitch, insert your hook into that. We are going around, as you can see. So you're going to catch the yarn and then you're going to pull up a loop and you wanna make sure that you extend all the way to the other side, to the work, basically following the work here. So extend all the way to the other side and then you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops. Oops, there is a little stitch here. There we go. And then yarn over and pull through two. So this is the pattern that we are going to be following all the way down. But here is going to be a little bit different. So you're going to be skipping one stitch and then you're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. And now we are going to be doing the extended double crochet into the stitch that we have skipped. So this one we got the very first stitch, this one we are going to get the one that we have skipped. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, go into that stitch that you have skipped, insert your hook, grab the yarn at the back, pull up a loop, and then you're going to extend all the way to the side of the last double crochet here that we have on this side. And then yarn over, pull through two, two, yarn over, pull through two. And this is basically what we are going to be doing all the way down. So repeat the same again. So skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, double crochet, following a stitch, double crochet, and next stitch, double crochet. 
and then you're going to be doing the extended double crochet into the stitch that we have skipped. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go into that stitch that we have skipped. There we go. Pull up a loop, extend it all the way to the side, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now repeat the same steps all the way down. So as you can see, I'm here right at the end and I have five stitches at the end and I've completed five cross stitches and I'm going to be having six in total. So I'm going to be following the same steps, skipping one, and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. So now I'm going to be doing an extended double crochet into that stitch that we have skipped. Extend all the way to the side and then double crochet right here. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we are going to just double crochet into that very last stitch. We are going to be having one last stitch at the end. So you can just double crochet into that and make sure that you get two loops of that stitch. Just like this. So double crochet and now we have the second row now completed. So now here we have the second row completed now and this is basically the pattern repeat. You're going to be following rows number one and two until you have the amount of rows you need. So now I'm going to be doing one more sequence with you so you get the hang of it. For the next row is going to be single crochets all the way down. So you're going to chain one, not counting as a stitch, turn project, and then you're going to single crochet into the very first stitch right on top of the last double crochet. And then you're going to single crochet all the way down into every stitch. So you want to make sure that you also have the same amount of single crochets as you had at the beginning. So I'm going to be having 25 single crochets. So the last single crochet, you will see that at the end, you're going to be having the chain three and the stitch of the double crochet here. So we are going to skip the chain three and we are going to just single crochet into that last double crochet. So this one is going to be our last stitch. If you want, you can also do what I'm going to show you now. So you have a straighter side on this side where you have the uh, chain three. So what you can do is to decrease into these two last stitches. So you're going to pull up a loop into the next stitch, keep that on the hook, and then you're going to pull up a loop into the following stitch in which is the chain three here, pull up a loop, keep that on the hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through. Just so you have a better finish on this side. So you can choose if you want to do just one single crochet into that last double crochet or you can do the decrease into the last two stitches. I like the decrease because it looks better and it's a little bit more straight on this side too. So now we are going to repeat what we've done into row number two. So we are going to chain three, turn project, we are going to skip that very first stitch and then we are going to double crochet into the next three stitches. Now we are going to do the extended double crochet into the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So here we have the first one. So now we are going to be skipping the next stitch and then work three double crochets into the next three. And now we are going to be doing the extended double crochet into the stitch that we have skipped. Go into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now just follow the same steps. Skip a stitch, one double crochet into the next three stitches, and then you're going to be doing an extended double crochet into the stitch that you have skipped. Now 
And that's all that we have to do for this stitch. It's that simple. So it's basically a two rows repeat stitch. Super, super simple. So now we can just carry on repeating the same steps all the way down. So at the end, you're going to be having five stitches left. So one, two, three, four, five. You're going to be skipping a stitch and then double crochet into the next three stitches. And then you're going to do an extended double crochet into the stitch that we have skipped. And then double crochet into the last single crochet. So now here I have row number four completed and this is basically everything you have to do to crochet the crossed stitch, a simple crossed stitch. And what I'm going to be doing now is just create a couple more rows just so that you have the fill of this stitch with a little bit more rows into it and then I'll be back in a second. So as you can see I have changed the color so you can see how it looks with one shade only throughout and I've done three sequences here going up so I followed rows three and four with the decrease at the end so that's what I'm doing for all the rows as well where we have the single crochets because you can see that the finishing on both sides looks really really good and super straight so I really like when I do the decrease but remember that you can choose however you want to do that and this is how it looks and if you have finished now with the amount of rows you are doing we have to just single crochet all the way down. So I'm going to chain one, turn my project, and then I'm going to just single crochet all the way down, following the same steps as we did for the single crochet row. So single crochet into the first stitch, and then just single crochet all the way down. At the end, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be doing a decrease into the two last stitches the last double crochet and the last stitch of the chain three. So decrease and now we are done. So I'm going to chain one, cut off my yarn, fasten off and now we can weave in. So I'm going to be threading this end into a tapestry needle. On the reverse at the back of the project is where you want to weave in. So you're going to be finding a couple of stitches going down I'm going to be doing here where I have the single crochets. There we go. Now I'm going to be skipping the first stitch and then go back into those same stitches and then go back into those same stitches skipping one stitch right at the beginning. And here is the last weave in, cut off the yarn and then you can repeat the same for all the other ends you have here. So now I'm done with the weave in and this is how it looks like once I have more rows completed. And you can repeat the two repeat rows here, three and four, until you have the amount of rows you need for the project you are doing. This stitch is perfect for any project you want. You can do bags, um, market or tote bags. You can do blankets, you can do tops as well, cardigans and jumpers. So it's a super versatile stitch and it's super nice too. And I love the detail. I love how 3D it is with the little cross stitches that looks really pretty. And if you end up using this stitch in any project you are doing, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or TikTok, a brunaticality, so that I can see the project you have done using this super stunning stitch. So thank you so, so much everyone for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so that you can watch more videos just like this one. So thank you so, so much and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.